Hey, welcome back to Web Squadron. Have you ever considered that? Hey, welcome back. Have you ever wanted to add some preloading to your website? So when someone visits, they get like a bit of animation. Now, some people find that a bit gimmicky. Some really want to have it because they've seen it used elsewhere. Of course, be careful on how you use these because you don't want to affect your page speed or affect your user visitor experience. But look, if you go to plugins in WordPress, and you type in preloader, or to be specific, pre, 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 preloader plus, you will get this free plugin. And it is really, really good and simple to use. Now I'm gonna show you the settings for this and how it looks once we've got it enabled. By the way, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and let everybody know about how amazing these videos are to help you in Elementor WordPress, or basically to help you, your clients, and your websites. Now once you've installed it, if you go down to over here, Preloader Plus, what you're going to get is loads and loads of videos which go through how do we use this, how do we do um, icons, you know, how do we do animated images. They've got really good content on here, by the way. So if anything I show doesn't make sense, please watch these videos. But if you want to get straight into it, go to Appearance and go to Customize of your theme which is a bit of a strange way of doing it because normally this is where you normally do your themes and stuff like that. What you do is you will now notice, I'm using hello, by the way, hello, and we have preloader plus present over there. You can't miss it. Now when you go in, you go to settings and this is where you get to decide is, are you going to allow this to be enabled at all? Well, yeah, that's why we're testing it. And this is going to be on the front page. So you get to decide, is it on the front page or not? Also, is it only enabled on the first visit? So if someone's on your website and they're moving around between pages, do you want the animation to keep coming up? You might want to say only on the first visit. But if they come back in again two weeks later or tomorrow, that will be a new visit. So that's OK there. But if they're moving around the site, you probably don't want that animation continuously coming up because it could get on their nerves. This is now where you decide on, are you going to have a custom image, a built-in icon, you might have some custom content, you might have a percentage counter, you might even have a progress bar. I'm going to do all of them except the blog name. And what you can do is rearrange them. So I could have an image above an icon. I got a progress bar up here. I'm just going to leave this like this for now. So image, icon, content, counter, and bar. And you can actually see some of that happening at the moment already. Now, here's where you get to decide on your color scheme. So I've gone with a, well, no, let's just go for black. Let's go for a bit more of a vibrant color. Hey, why not? Let's just go for, let's go for a pink color like that. Okay. And we'll leave the text color to be white. And before we hit publish, because we are going to have some custom content, this is where you can put your content in. So you could literally put a short code in here or some particular funky HTML, or you could just say, welcome to web squadron and you'll see it as it tests out the wording is now appearing good so far pretty simple let's just hit publish we then go back to the settings and we're just going to change the typography we won't i'm not going to spend a lot of time on this by the way okay i'm just going to make this say this is about 400 and you'll see it at the moment uh, it's not really oh sorry that's the blog name we're not doing the blog name it's the custom content let's just make it about 400 are we also going to have it in capital, uppercase? Let's just go with uppercase as well. The percentage counter, maybe we we'll want to have that a little bit smaller, so we'll make that 16. You play around with it and how you want it to look. Again, let's just hit publish. Let's just go back over to here. You don't have to mess around with the typography, by the way. I'm just doing it for the sake of it. Let's just go to the progress bar because we are showing that. So uh, at the moment, we'll leave it as a top. Um, and we won't actually modify anything here. Um, in fact, I'll just leave the color as well, just so we can see how it looks. I'll go back over here. This is the one where you might spend a lot of time. Icon and image. Now the icon at the moment was the dots. What if we want to go for a circular effect? Or if we want to just go for the dots? Now for some reason it's not showing is it, which is a slightly annoying thing for me because normally it should be showing it. Let me just double check. I haven't done anything wrong here. Ah. If I take this off on the first visit, it's because I'm, it thinks I'm on my first visit, so we can now see what it's doing. So if we go back to the progress bar, okay, which was, no, sorry, not the progress bar, the icon and the image. If I change this to be the circle, you're now going to see the spinning circle. If I go for this pattern instead, 
you're now going to see a slightly different pattern. So go for what works for you. And you can change the size as well. So if I go for 40, you'll now see it on the fly. So just remember, untick the only show on the first visit, otherwise you won't see it changing in action. Custom image. Now you can add in a custom image and it can be whatever you want. It could be an image, an actual photo. It could be a logo. One of these images here. Yeah, there we go. Let's just pick that image. There we go. You can see the image there. It was just there at the top. We're going to make it about a, let's just go with 300 just so we can see it. Uh, at the moment, it's on a fading effect. There may be no animation. So you just have it there as a particular image or you could have a rotating pattern as well. You do have to play around with these, okay? And I would say keep playing until you get the look you want. Because it's, you know, if you're gonna put a preloader, make sure it's actually worth having the preloader on there. So that is now published. I'm now just gonna go back in again, just to go to the animations tab. And this is now where you get to decide on the duration. So one second, is there any delay in it coming on? Um, the opacity of it, the direction of it, you know. Um, now choose the direction of the preloader on closing. Hmm. Preload, do we want it to go? I would say let's. we want it to go to the left. So once it's done, it. I don't think that really did anything for me. I don't think that did anything, um, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is, okay? Um, and there are some other settings on here as well. So let's just publish that. Now, if we go back to visit our site, this is a test site, by the way, okay? So don't anyone go look and go, oh, what is this? We got the preloader, did you see that? It's probably not gonna work for me now. Oh, it does still work. And it just does the preload, okay? So we can now see what it's doing in action. So you have a think about what you wanna show. And if I jump over to the shop page, it doesn't, by the way, this is a fake shop page. It's not gonna do anything. If I go to the blog page, it's not gonna do anything. So this is only really good for the pre, oh, it's, it's gone to that home homepage. Um, but um, test site, I always mess around with the URLs. But if I go to the page, it's basically gonna do that. Um, so I would say that the Preloader Plus, it's great for if you wanna add some preloader animations. There are some limitations with it. You do have to mess around with it. And if I just go back over here to the settings, it only does it on the front page at the moment. And there is probably a way that you can enable it on other pages, and that's more with page transitions, which I'm not a massive fan of because they can slow down user experience and sometimes it doesn't look good in the way it works. You make your own mind up about that. But this is a very simple, free way of doing preloader animations on your website using Preloader Plus. And, and by the way, you know, there are lots of other tools out there, but I would definitely say, go. even though this one hasn't been updated in a while, it's not been done in about a year, it has got 30,000 active installations and it's five star of 439 reviews. And there are some other ones out there, but they're either quite new or they don't have many reviews. And that always starts to worry me a little bit. And I would say, play with them. You might find something else that works for you, but always be conscious of what does that do to your page speed insight score? And is it worth happening? And usually you'll find that a website like that, if I was to put it on page speed insights now, it's not great for page speed. So it's not the desktop down to 90%. I know that without the preloader, that is hitting 100%. And the mobile was hitting 97 to 98%. I've just tested this uh, four times and that is the best score I got, 63%. So it is adding on delays onto your website. And I would just say that, is it really worth having on? And I would probably say no. So unless you really, really want it, Preloader stuff is great, but if you really care about page speed insight score, and I would say you should, then I would probably not go for it. But that's just my recommendation for one to use if you want it. But I would say, hey, do you really want that score? Anyway, look, you take care and I'll see you soon.